Welcome, welcome, welcome to our next webinar. We're going to be talking about building shopper confidence for increased conversions and profit. What did we write down on our sticky note? Like, no, trust. Like, no, trust. We want to build our shoppers' confidence. We have to get them to trust us. They may like us, they may know us, but they may not trust us yet. So we have to build up that confidence. If you're brand new to the New Life event, welcome. My name is Shauna Siegel, and I am the CEO of One Choice for Your Store. I'm the host of Ecom Experts on Webmaster Radio. We are going to get together again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern. And I love education. If you want to learn more about me, just go check out my bio on the website. We are here for the new life event. Welcome. A special thank you to our speakers. Without them, we wouldn't have this education, and the education is so amazing. I love this education, but a special thank you to you. As I look off to my other screen, I'm seeing how you guys are just uh, tweeting away that this webinar is going on and all these tweets and you're telling people about the event and today we are seeing so many fresh faces that we haven't even seen here before and the reason why they're here is because they just found out about us because of you so what you're doing is helping to pass on the information and you are helping giving back by passing on to your friends um, you know you guys are making friends and you want those people to like know and trust you by sending them here to get more information they're going to start trusting you even more. So you're really helping to get that ball running. And as you're doing that, we're helping you by giving you prizes and fun things and educational things. And, you know, the, the iPod shuffle last hour so that you can download all the audio files for the new life event. It's just so much fun. And we have our grand prizes, too, which are phenomenal. But you're a winner just by being here. All this education that you're getting, use it. If you take away one thing, one thing, you will increase your business. So here's how you win prizes. Go to newlifeevent.com or go to twitter-winner.com. If you go to that page directly, you're going to see exactly what you need to do to win. You're going to learn how to do it. You're going to need to learn. You're going to learn why to do it. You're going to learn how to get into the chat room. Um, you're going to learn why we can't do this on Facebook. All the information is right there. The great part is when you use this tweet chat, it puts in the hashtag that we need to see to see you in the chat room. So make sure that you use that room because it will put it in there for you automatically. We've got a really great schedule still. I mean, the education today is phenomenal. I think we've got, what, 10 more hours to go. Um, and so that means we're 20 down and 10 more to go. Good, good stuff. All right, have questions? Twitter them over to me at New Life Event or ask questions on the right hand side. As we keep getting busier and busier throughout the day, um, it might be easier to ask them on the right hand side, but I also love that you guys are asking it in Twitter. The reason why I love that is because not only are you getting a, um, a professional expert opinion from the speaker, but you're also getting opinions from people like Michelle Chance, who has been in this business forever. You're getting um, a professional experience, um, a professional um, response and opinion from other people like her who have done e-commerce for years, who have been in this industry, and you're going to get to hear all the different answers and the reasoning behind it so that you can make an informed decision. That's what this is all about. So what I'm going to do is pass on the controls to Jeff, and Jeff, you should see a little screen that says show my screen. I see it. All right, perfect. We see it. You look awesome. You look very awesome. So I'm going to mute myself, and if you could tell Jeff a little bit about who you are and, and tell us, you know, I know why we should love you, but if you could just tell people a little bit about you, that would be wonderful. I'm going to go on mute. Sure. Thank you, Shauna. And I, um, I'm excited to be here today and to, to talk about a topic I know very well and very near and dear to my, my heart. Uh, as Shauna mentioned, uh, uh, my name is Jeff Grass, and I'm the president and CEO of BuySafe. Uh, BuySafe is an e-commerce services company that uh, really specializes in providing internet merchants with uh, tools and solutions to help them uh, build confidence with visitors to their site and driving higher um, in process. Shauna, I could hear you there for a second. Um, I think what we're hearing is Keith. Uh, Keith, uh, you're still on the panelist. If you could close out the window. Okay, so that that should be that should be taken Perfect. care of. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. I'll keep going. All right. <laughs> um, 
So uh, anyway, BuySafe uh, really specializes in helping uh, online merchants, give them tools that focus on uh, building confidence with visitors to the site and improving the overall customer experience. Um, you know, the, the idea and the concept uh, that we're going to talk a lot about today is, is really pretty simple. It's that not everyone who shops online feels totally safe and secure. And when people perceive uh, risk or feel uncertain or uneasy in an online purchase, they do one of two things. They either avoid buying, so instead of buying from you, they go to a different site. Maybe they go offline, they'd rather buy there. Or they discount the price they're willing to pay based on their uh, perception of risk. So if you end up having to lower your price, that might help you drive more sales. Um, but that's essentially just helping compensate them for that feeling of uncertainty and, and, and potential risk that they feel. And obviously, that's not a good thing if you're an internet merchant. That leads to lower sales, lower pricing, lower profitability than you otherwise could or should receive. So uh, really figuring out how do you optimize around uh, providing the, the most confident possible buying experience on your site will translate into increased sales and, and increased overall profitability. And so that's the core of what I wanted to talk about today, and, and hopefully you find it valuable. Um, you see a lot of logos here on the bottom of this first screen. We're partnered with a, a number of... Uh, uh, of large companies. Um, part of what BuySafe uses is uh, various guarantees to help uh, build confidence to visitors in site. And uh, we're partnered with Liberty Mutual and Travelers and Ace and Assurance. And also VeriSign uh, is a strategic investment in, uh, investor in BuySafe as uh, we're very complementary to the security seal solutions you see out there, uh, like with VeriSign. OK, um, let me see here. OK, so here's a rough uh, idea of what I want to talk about is give you a little bit more about my background, talk about the confidence problem, uh, really delve into what the drivers of uncertainty are. So what I wanted to do today was really try to educate you as to the, the core of the problem, what causes it, uh, and, and the cost to your business. And then we can talk about some different ways you can try to address it. But I think if you're, if you're really armed with the information uh, on, on the causes and the, and the costs, that will help you think you know, creatively about a, a variety of ways to solve the problem. OK, my background. So I've spent over 12 years uh, uh, with, a, with an extreme focus on internet trust and security. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm the CEO here at BuySafe and have been for the last uh, six or seven years. Um, prior to that, I was a, a specialist consultant at McKinsey & Company, uh, providing strategy and operational consulting, primarily focused to, to at, uh, at high technology and, and online businesses. And before that, I was the co-founder of a company called PayMyBills.com uh, back in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Uh, and we were an online bill payment and presentment solution. And we found trust and security obviously being very, very critical as we were at, really at the forefront of helping uh, uh, drive the adoption of online bill payment and, uh, and getting people comfortable with the idea of receiving and paying their bills online was obviously uh, a key component to our success. Uh, also a bit of a, a researcher and author. Uh, a lot of the uh, underpinnings to buy safe come out of a lot of theory that's out there. Uh, and so I've written uh, a fair bit about that uh, to try to help educate our customers and, and the broader uh, audience out there. And uh, I spend a lot of time with all of you. Uh, and I really enjoy that. Uh, really for the past six or seven years, I've been working very, very closely with, with internet merchants of all sizes and, 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 and types and areas of focus. Uh, originally, the, the BuySafe was primarily focused on the eBay marketplace, um, but over the last few years, we've really shifted our focus um, outside of eBay to the broader e-commerce forum. And we have over 4,000 merchants that are using the BuySafe solution today, um, from some of the very smallest emerging uh, businesses to, to some of the largest ones that are out there, big public companies using BuySafe. So uh, I think we've got a, I've got an interesting perspective to share in terms of the the, the issue of confidence online and how it affects uh, really merchants of all different uh, uh, sizes and, and, and orientations. So um, website conversion. Uh, for the typical e-commerce site, and, and probably like most of you, um, generally only two or three in every 100 visitors to your site will end up uh, uh, making a purchase. And uh, there's a lot of different factors that, that influence that. The level of consumer confidence, though, is one of the contributing factors. And so if you think about you know, two or three in every 100 or 20 and 30 in every 1,000 visitors that you, you get to come to your site, so you're spending all this money on advertising and promotion and ways to try to drive them to your site, and, uh, and just a, such a small, small fraction of them uh, end up uh, buying. So why is it that, that only 
uh, such a small portion bind. Um, so let's look at uh, the, the four primary factors that determine conversion on a website. Um, so one is product selection. So uh, did you have the product that they were looking for and that they were interested in, in making a purchase? And uh, obviously, if you don't have the product, then, then it's going to be tough to make the sale. Um, second is price. So did you have it at a price that they were looking for? And obviously, in the Internet, it makes it really easy to price um, compare lots of comparison shopping engines out there. Um, and so price is always a, a key characteristic for folks. The third is, is just the website's ease of use. And you know, was it easy to navigate the site? Was it easy to find the product that they were looking for? Uh, was checkout simple and, and, and easy for them to address? So these are all issues that I'm sure everybody on the line here is, is very familiar with. Uh, and none of these issues does Bisafe really <laughs> uh, deal with in any great degree. Um, the fourth issue, though, is one that, that we really focus on, and that is the level of consumer confidence. Uh, if, if, the, the, if the person on your website finds the product at the price they want, um, but they don't feel comfortable, they will not make a purchase. And so it's really, really critical, and one of the key factors is you know, how do you uh, ensure that the, the shopper feels confident and will end up uh, uh, completing the transaction. So the shopper's level of uncertainty that if they buy, everything will go as promised. Is, is one of those, those four factors. A lot of different ways to look at it. This was just a simple survey we did about a year ago um, in terms of uh, trying to get a sense from, sh from consumers, you know, what's the most important factor uh, of those four in terms of uh, making a purchase. And uh, generally price and, 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 and merchant uh, confidence around the merchant, merchant performance and, and other factors around that uh, tend to be the ones that, that are the most important for folks. So um, this is just a simple you know, example. We have lots of other research, and I'll share some more of that with you here in just a second. So uh, as you delve into, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time really uh, researching and understanding and analyzing what are the drivers of uncertainty. So we know now that there's, there's four big factors that influence uh, determine you know, conversion, and con consumer confidence is one of those, those key factors. So if we drive, delve into consumer confidence, what, are the, what determines the level of a consumer's confidence or the corollary, you know, what, what causes uncertainty for a, consumer, for a consumer? And what we find is that there's, there's primarily three big concerns. And uh, the first is they have concerns around the safety and security of their personal information. They're worried about identity theft. Uh, the media loves to write about it and talk about it all the time. Uh, and it's been a problem that continues to grow and grow. Uh, and according to the FTC, a significant majority of identity theft actually originates online. And so that tends to just create an atmosphere where, where consumers feel a level of uncertainty, a little bit of apprehension. And, uh, and so this is an area that you need to think about in terms of how do you address their concerns around the, the security of their personal information. Second is questions about the merchant themselves. You know, is this a reliable merchant who's going to perform on the promises they make to me? Uh, the, the Internet has, has really become the largest shopping mall ever created, if you think about it. Um, there's over half a million different websites in the United States alone that now sell uh, products to, to, to online shoppers. Um, and so if you think about walking into a mall with a half a million different stores, um, it's, it's literally, you know, it's very, very difficult uh, for people to um, develop a level of comfort and confidence with the vast majority of those. Um, you know, once you get outside the top 20 or 30 largest brands in the, in the country or in the world, um, uh, you, you start to run into a situation where a large percentage of the people who might be coming to your site may not really know you very well, may not totally um, uh, trust you. Obviously, the people who buy from you already have, have established a level of trust. The question is, is how do we get all those other people that are coming to your site to end up uh, making a purchase. So uh, questions around merchant reliability, stability, and performance are absolutely uh, another key concern that people have. Lastly, and, and, and a little bit less important, uh, but still important, is am I getting the best price? So consumers want to know that they're they're getting a good deal, and uh, and so price is one of the things that, that it impacts uh, the likelihood of a consumer over, uh, ending up making a purchase. And so those are the three big, big uh, issues that, that determine the level of confidence the shopper has, and, uh, and then within that dimension, their likelihood of making a purchase from you. 
Uh, another simple survey um, that just looks at uh, the level of concern around those the two biggest issues, which is the information security and merchant reliab reliability and performance, and especially around concern w when buying from a website you're not very familiar with. And what you find is the vast majority of people um, you know, express concerns about um, shopping on and buying from websites that they don't uh, feel uh, that they know extremely, extremely well. So, and what's interesting is, is we look across BuySafe's uh, 4,000 merchants. For the typical e-commerce site, we see um, roughly three quarters, about 75% of their sales are to first-time buyers. And that will vary across different merchants and depending on their business model. Some are much higher, some are much lower. Um, but what it highlights is, is that uh, the vast majority of their sales are coming from people that are not very familiar with you because if they've never made a purchase from you in your online store, um, there's going to be a heightened level of uncertainty that they feel. And, uh, and, and figuring out ways to address that and, and reassure them will absolutely translate into increases in, in sales and conversion and profitability for your business. So um, it's a, it's a broad-based problem. It's something that most people feel. And uh, in many ways, it's just a function of the Internet itself in terms of how the Internet operates. It's a very disconnected purchase. It's one that uh, you know, does not allow you to walk into a store, pick up a product, and walk out with it. Uh, but uh, you know, you're really heavily relying on the party to the other side of the transaction, the merchant, to uh, do what they say they're going to do, to deliver on the promises they make, to treat you well, and to address any issues that might arise along the way. So um, just the very construction of the Internet makes for a much less certain or more uh, uneasy uh, medium for people to, to make a purchase. So. Um, uh, so that highlights again why this is such an important issue for, for successful online businesses. Uh, lots and lots of data. Um, this slide is, is going to be a little bit dense in terms of text. Um, and, and for folks that would like more information or more data afterwards, I'm happy to send you uh, lots and lots of different studies that have been done uh, and, and details about it. But uh, from an information security perspective, identity theft, again, is sort of one of the fastest growing frauds in America. Uh, significant percentage of U.S. Internet users don't like to give out their personal information over the Internet, and uh, most people worry about identity theft uh, uh, being, or their identity being stolen from an online purchase. So uh, lots of different sources of information that all point to it's an area of concern that people have, and it's something that needs to be addressed. Around merchant reliability, similarly, lots of, of, of different uh, organizations have been looking at this issue, and uh, most people view uh, buying uh, online being, they feel like it's more risky than buying offline. Uh, a significant percentage of uh, internet crime complaints to the FBI have to do with issues of merchant non-performance, so that's merchants not delivering on the promises they make, either not shipping product, shipping counterfeit product, uh, things like that. Um, and in general, um, you know, lots and lots of studies that, that highlight trust on the internet is super important and, uh, and essential for for, uh, for merchants to be thinking about. So let's try to quantify. Um, you know, it, it's interesting to talk about uh, the, the problem at a, at a conceptual level, and, and hopefully at this point everybody is, is, is kind of nodding their heads and saying, yeah, Jeff, I get, the, I get it. Not everybody feels totally confident when buying online. Um, but what does it really mean for me and my business? You know, how, does that, how does that impact me? Um, so this is, this is a, a simple sort of spreadsheet that gives you a sense of that. Um, and what you look at is the way this is structured is there's a, a number of different key business metrics on the left-hand side and an assumption around a, a, a merchant today, sort of their current business. Um, this example is a fairly large merchant, a $50 million a year merchant, uh, but, but if, if, you, if you're smaller than that, you can you know, sort of divide by 10 or 100 to, to give you a sense of, uh, of the impact. But you know, what it really focuses on is the transactions completed per, per 1,000 visitors is about 2%. So 20 in every 1,000 visitors is a 2% conversion rate, which again is, is pretty close to the average across the Internet. And uh, if you can influence just one more person in 1,000, just one, if you think about for a second, you know, a room filled with 1,000 people, um, it's like twice the size of my, my, my graduating class in my high school. Uh, if you can influence just one of them to, to make a purchase that otherwise wouldn't have, uh, it can have a significant impact on your business. So one more in a thousand helps increase your website conversion rate from two percent to two point one percent. 
which is about a 5% relative increase in conversion. And what we see with a lot of buy safe merchants uh, is, is there's an opportunity to increase conversion and, um, uh, quite a bit. Um, usually merchants that are, are smaller than the 50 million level uh, will tend to see a, a greater opportunity for, for increasing sales and conversion. You know, typically you'll be higher at the, you know, 8, 9, 10, sometimes upwards of 15 percent, you know, opportunities for listing conversion uh, by really ensuring a uh, you know, full consumer confidence at your website. But, uh, you know, even at a fairly modest level of impact of 5 percent, 1 in 1,000, um, for a merchant like this, it would drive an additional $2.5 million a year in sales. Um, and, uh, and basically that equates to a 5 percent increase in their annual sales volume. Um, for a merchant like this, you can also look at it in the corollary in terms of what is it costing them today uh, it, by, by having one less buyer in every thousand visitors to their site, and it essentially costs them $6,850 a day in, in lost revenue opportunities. Um, and, uh, and so uh, big, big opportunities. If you can influence one or two or three uh, more in a thousand visitors, um, it, can, it can really uh, uh, impact the business metrics. When you look at it from a profit perspective, and again, this is a little bit of a complex um, slide, but it shows a, a profile of that same merchant's business currently. Um, transactions per year, average sales price drives a total annual sales volume. And then it looks at three simple assumptions around their cost of goods sold, their marketing and fixed costs, so assuming they're spending a certain amount on advertising to drive traffic to their site, and then variable costs like operational costs of, of shipping products. Um, for a net profit of about 5%, so 5% of sales, um, which for most merchants would be a pretty good profit margin. And so if this sample merchant could drive, to, could get one more buyer in every thousand to make a purchase, it actually has a, a disproportionately greater impact on their net profitability. And that's because it's making their entire business more efficient. Um, you're, you have, you're spending the exact same money driving the exact same visitors to your site, but what they're doing is, is if they're able to convert one more in a thousand, um, all the gross profit from those incremental sales drop straight to the bottom line because you're not having to spend more money on Google AdWords to drive five percent more sales. Um, you're getting, you're capturing those additional sales uh, without spending those additional marketing uh, dollars. And uh, as an example here, that drives essentially a twenty percent increase in net profitability. Again, because all the incremental gross profit from those extra sales drops straight to the bottom line. Um, after this, if anybody would like, I can send you a model that allows you to play with assumptions on your own business um, and, 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 and really spend a little bit more time on it looking at the, the calculations. But um, trust me in the, when I, I tell you that uh, you know, increases in conversion really are the, the most highly leveraged uh, way for you to, to drive increases in profitability in your business. Uh, so tools that help increase conversion, whether they're confidence-oriented like BuySafe or something else, uh, you know, are, are real key areas for you to be focusing on in terms of uh, driving a successful and profitable uh, online business. Um, oh, we're at the Twitter slide. Um, so, Shauna, I know you, you'd asked me to highlight a Twitter, Twitter winner, and uh, what we're going to do is provide uh, uh, the winner uh, six months free of BuySafe if they'd like to give BuySafe a try. And, um, and, and cost nothing, and then everybody else who's participating today can also use BuySafe for free for a month to give it a try and uh, see if they might uh, you know, see any benefits from, from leveraging the solution. Oh, wow. Well, that is awesome. Well, Woody's diecast has been, it just put out there as soon as you put that up, great info. Thank you, Jeff. And that was his tweet that he sent out. And a lot of people are just saying, you know, looking at these numbers, um, just such great information. And I highly, 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 highly recommend that you take advantage of this one month free. Um, if you need any help getting it installed in your site, just give us a call. But, you know, try it and see, are the numbers going to speak for themselves? You know, you can look at the stuff. You can look at your analytics. Go to our website. If you don't have how to put analytics in your website, go check it out. This is the kind of stuff that you need to test and see what happens. And most of the time when you try out things like this, you are quite surprised by the results. So anyway, um, I'll let you continue on. And congratulations to Woody's Diecast. Terrific. Thanks, Shauna. And congratulations, Woody. Um, uh, I also included here um, some contact information for 
some folks on our team uh, that are, are consultants that work with a lot of our merchant partners. And so if you just reach out, you can um, absolutely, Sean and her team can, can help uh, coordinate it as well. But uh, if you reach out to us directly and just mention the New Life event, uh, we'll get you set up with the free trial. Um, it's not normal that we do that. Typically, uh, folks have to pay up front. But uh, uh, as Shauna said, it gives you an opportunity to try it risk-free and, uh, and see the impact. And actually, I was, I was thinking that you know, it's possible that a lot of folks here on the call today might not really understand what BiSafe is. Um, and so hopefully it would be helpful. I'll give you just a, a two-minute kind of sense of, of this solution, because it is fundamentally different than anything else out there in the market today. Uh, I um, would appreciate if you could, de if you could do that. I, I definitely would appreciate that, um, because it, there's a lot of question about how BiSafe works. There's been a couple questions about how BiSafe works and what it does. So um, I think if you could answer that question real quick, so that way they can mark down this information while it's here, that would be wonderful if you could please do that. Sure. Perfect. I actually uh, had a couple slides handy for that. So, um, uh, you know, BiSafe is, is at, at a high level, we provide a solution that is designed to provide a, a really a comprehensive consumer confidence uh, experience at your website. Uh, it starts with uh, a certification and endorsement of the merchant. So we provide an explicit third-party endorsement uh, of your business to signal to shoppers that uh, it's a great business and they can feel very confident buying from you. Uh, the way that you do that is that you're able to leverage uh, different graphics that are displayed throughout your, your buying experience uh, that helps uh, increase confidence with visitors. And we do something very unique as well in that we provide or you provide buyers at your site with a broad three-in-one guarantee that's designed to address those three key concerns that, that online shoppers have around confidence. So it provides a full guarantee of the purchase, covers all the terms of sale, product authenticity, return policies, refund policies, um, basically all the things that uh, you know, help ensure that they get exactly what they uh, uh, were, were, were paying for. Um, it provides blanket identity theft uh, protection uh, that's very broad in nature. It actually responds for any reason at all. It doesn't actually need to be as a result of the online purchase. Uh, but again, it helps give shoppers uh, added confidence that, uh, that their identity will be kept safe and secure. And if something does go wrong, they're totally covered. And then lastly, a lowest price guarantee as well, which provides uh, a guarantee that if the, the price on your site drops within 30 days after their purchase, uh, we will reimburse them up to $100. And, and so it's really designed to give the shoppers on your site added peace of mind and, and confidence. And, and it's designed to give you higher website conversion, sales, and profitability. You know, real quick in terms of how, how BuySafe looks on a merchant site, um, there is a one of the graphical elements we have is a seal. Uh, our best practice seal is what we call a persistent seal that's designed to sit in the corner of the browser. Uh, we have different sizes of that seal. It can sit in any of the four corners of your browser. Uh, and it has a rollover as well that highlights this certification of, of the merchant's reliability, stability, and good performance, and, and each of the three uh, key benefits that the buyer receives at no additional cost. We also have other secondary graphical elements. We call them conversion kickers. We have uh, dozens and dozens of different designs, but this is just an example, uh, that you can use throughout the buying experience on your site to merchandise that you're going the extra mile in providing this special three-in-one guarantee uh, as, a, as a thank you for buying from you. And uh, on these conversion kickers, the, the rollover is a little bit different. It's a little bit more specific about the guarantee terms and exactly what's included in those. And then uh, on at, at after the checkout process on the order receipt page, a unique buy safe guarantee is issued to the buyer at your site. Um, they receive a unique guarantee number and um, specifics around what's included in that guarantee. And then we also will send the buyer an email with their official certificate of guarantee. They receive only one email from us ever, and that's to deliver the guarantee that you essentially uh, are providing for them. And the email, this is an example here, is very much designed to provide uh, to really build brand and, and reinforce that, that you, the merchant, in this case Marine Products, has partnered with BuySafe to provide added peace of mind um, and really you know, shows that you're, you're going the extra mile in, in, in showing that you care in terms of driving, uh, 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 you know, helping them feel very comfortable buying from you. The certificate of guarantee provides additional information about each of the three guarantees and also instructions on how they can make a benefit claim uh, in the event that uh, 
uh, they'd like to claim one within that, that 30 day period. Um, the, the purchase guarantee um, is, is designed to guarantee the terms of sales I mentioned. So if they make a benefit claim there, um, we'll typically start by reaching out to you to, uh, to try to help you solve the problem that they might have. In the case of the identity theft and the lowest price guarantee, they come to us, we handle it entirely on our side, and you never need to get involved. So it's real simple and easy. Um, installing Bysafe is three snippets of code. It typically takes about 30 minutes to install. Um, so uh, again, that, that one month free offer, or the six month free offer will give you a chance to, to test it out and, and see the kind of impact it has. So one question that we are are getting um, um, a lot of people are wondering is like when you sure. put that low price guarantee is the merchant charge for that price change reimbursement? No, that's that's covered by BuySafe. So it's it's part of the uh, part of the cost of BuySafe. Uh, you know, cover cover the lowest price guarantee. Now, see that helps when you're when you do have where people are going to stop and just say, "I'm going to go search for the lowest price I could possibly find," and then it's like squirrel. And then they're gone. Yeah. Now this is just for the, your same store, so it's not saying it's the lowest price on the internet, and we'll we'll reimburse them. Mm. Um, but it, it's saying that if they make a purchase from you and the price drops within thirty days, Got then they it. can come to buy, say, for reimbursement. Um, what we find is there's there's two big benefits. First is it creates an incentive for the buyer to buy right away. So rather than wait to see if it might go on sale, you know, you'd rather get them to go ahead while you have them on the site to, to make a purchase. The other cool thing it does is it creates an incentive for the buyer to come back to your site multiple times over the next 30 days just to see if the price might have fallen. And if you can get them back to your site, that gives you a chance to sell them something else. So uh, most of the customers that use BuySafe really like that lowest price guarantee for those two reasons. Absolutely love that. Uh, what is like the average cost per month for the service? So it really depends on the size of the merchant. So pricing, uh, as you can imagine, um, you know, our, our costs are somewhat correlated to the, to the size of the merchant in terms of the sa online sales volume. Uh, and uh, um, at the lowest end, um, through, through some special discounting pricing we offered through New Life, um, it would be about $500 a year um, for some of the smaller size merchants, and then it can go up from there. Um, but absolutely what we want, like to show is, is that um, and be able to prove to you is, is that BuySafe is more than covering its costs through the incremental profits that it helps drive. So by, by driving those extra sales through higher conversion, this is, this is a profit enhancement tool, not an added cost for your business. Well, definitely see it. You know, you definitely see the conversions coming because, you know, I, I, me and Mama, we grab our, you know, if we go to Macy's and we grab our, we carry our coupon with us for the next month because if we see something on sale, they will credit us, you know. So we keep going in there looking for new sale things, seeing if what we bought before was, you know, put further down on sale because, you know, Macy's is kind of expensive, you know. Hey, we got to keep looking out for sales and good deals. And <laughs> now you're able to do this for your store. So, yeah, this is great info. Okay, I'm sorry. I will let you continue. Um, and just to let you guys know that we're going to we're gonna do the, the, one, te the one month um, on our One Choice for Quilting site as well, and we can share that in our Now What process and how we're using it to drive sales and how we're using it to increase conversions, and we'll share all that with you guys too. So anyway, I'll, I'll go on mute now. <laughs> That's great, Sean. That's great. No, I appreciate it. Um, the, uh, for, for merchants that ha are, are larger in size, so if you sell typically around $100,000 a month or more, um, we have some very sophisticated tools that you can leverage to run your own A-B test to buy safe. And essentially what it does is it just breaks the traffic to your site into two buckets. Uh, one is a control group that, that has no presence of buy safe, and the other is, is, is displaying the buy safe solution. And what that allows you to do is, over the course of a testing period, is to get a very accurate read on what is the impact that BuySafe can provide you on your site in terms of the increase in conversion, sales, and profitability uh, for your business. Um, for sites that are smaller than that, it's a little bit more difficult just because uh, you need a certain number of transactions to get to a very highly statistically significant number. Um, but I can also assure you that you know m merchants that, that are much larger uh, see significant impact. Typically, the smaller sites will, will see even a greater impact. The, the other thing that you, you'll tend to see is really positive feedback from your buyers. Um, as an example, um, a lot of our merchants will tend to get thank you notes from their buyers for providing that three-in-one guarantee. So they get the guarantee, they're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome, thank you so much, um, this made the difference, you know, I'm going to tell my friends about it, et cetera. 
Uh, one customer that uses BuySafe is a, is a publicly traded company called Bids.com. They're one of the largest jewelry sites on the planet, um, sell over $150 million a year online. And I think their IR top uh, 125. And uh, they started using BuySafe around the middle of last year. And they say they've gotten over 6,000 thank you notes from their buyers. And these are just some of the examples of the, of the kind of feedback that they've gotten um, uh, from their buyers after receiving that 3-in-1 that guarantee. So you know, what it speaks to is the, the analytics give you some quantitative data to help you know for sure that it's, it's, it's enhancing your margins and it's well more than paying for itself. But it also helps you see that there's, you know, from a qualitative perspective, that your buyers, you know, it really does make a difference. And um, obviously, this kind of experience is, you know, really helps differentiate you. It will help build buyer loyalty and, and drive, uh, you know, your business going forward as well. So real quick summary, and then I'm going to get back to talking about the, the broader problem. Uh, you know, we provide a, a unique brand building and website conversion solution, drives increased customer satisfaction. Um, typically, we see around a 5 to 15% increase in conversion. Um, we're at the lower end for much larger merchants like the bids, uh, and, and typically at the higher end of that for smaller merchants. And we also see that it increases repeat buying behavior, um, typically fairly significantly. So building that loyalty factor you know, really helps you, you build a, a long-term uh, successful business. Uh, about 4,000, over about, almost about 4,500 merchants now, including almost 10% of the top 1,000 internet retailers are using it. And as I said, it takes only about 30 minutes. So I really do encourage you to, to try the, the free offer. Um, give it a try for a month. Uh, we have no long-term contracts or commitments. So um, you know, if you start to use it and decide you change your mind, it's, you just cancel it and you're done. Um, we really believe very, very much here by SAFE that we need to continue to show value to you every single month. Uh, in order to justify that fee rather than lock you into a contract. Okay, so um, back to, to a little bit more on the theoretical part of you know, how do you build confidence of visitors to your site, and, and then uh, we're going to touch on you know, a lot of the different suggestions as well. Um, so the, the two biggest drivers, as I mentioned, are, are, are questions that people have are information security and merchant reliability. And that third piece is, is price as well. But I'm going to focus on these two um, because these are the most important. So uh, uh, when, you, when you think about from a buyer perspective, and, and, and all the research very much supports this as well, there, there's really two things people are looking for. First and foremost, and primarily, they want to be assured or know that they're not going to have a problem in the first place. Right? I'm never going to buy on a merchant site if I think I'm going to get, you know, if it's not going to go well. Or if I think my, my personal information is going to be misused, it would you know I'd never do it. Um, and so things you can do to help signal to them, provide a credible signal of assurance that they're not going to have a problem in the first place is really important. But buyers also want to know that if something does go wrong, uh, they're they'll be covered or they'll be protected or there's a guarantee in place to help them resolve the problem. Um, uh, and, and so those are really the, the, the two key dimensions. Um, um, there's, there's, it's based on a lot of theory that was sort of developed that won a, a Nobel Prize for economics uh, in early 2000. Um, but it, I think at a, at a conceptual sort of simple level, it sort of makes sense, right? I'd rather avoid a problem than, 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 than end up having one. But if I have it, I'd like to know that I can get it resolved quickly and easily and, and it not cost me a lot of money. Um, if you think about a lot of the solutions that are on the market today, um, there, there's a number of, of security seal solutions. Um, so for example, like a VeriSign seal or a McAfee Secure seal or a Trustee seal, um, maybe solutions that many of you are familiar with, they would typically sort of fit in this top left quadrant. Um, they are providing you a, a way to signal to your shopper that uh, their information will be kept safe and secure and private. So there's assurance. And, and a signaling there. Now, obviously, if something happens and data is stolen, there's a problem. None of those solutions really provide any kind of recourse for the buyer. Um, so they're, they're a bit of an open uh, gap there. On the merchant reliability side, um, there are you know, lots of ways merchants try to solve this problem today. Obviously, you want a professional-looking site. You can try to build a brand. Uh, where we started with eBay, there's feedback scores. Off of eBay, you have things like merchant ratings. Um, to a lesser degree, you've got BBB um, that, that, is, that provides some level of, of, of a signal to people. Um, and then also BuySafe and our, our signals 
are, are primarily designed to signal that this is mer merchant has been inspected and monitored by BuySafe and that we certify the reliability and good performance of, of the merchant. Um, BuySafe also goes you know, much further in terms of providing that blanket guarantee of, of merchant performance as well, as well as filling in this box too uh, of, of providing a guarantee on the information security. So it, you know, thinking about you know, whether you use a BuySafe or something else, the more you can color in each of those four quadrants, the more uh, that you're, you're going to be able to fully and comprehensively address the concerns shoppers have. Okay, so let's talk about some ways to, to increase confidence, and then um, uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit of time left for, for any questions. Um, so first is reassuring and guaranteeing merchant performance. Um, so there's a lot of basics that, that hopefully most of you are doing already, but it, they're very important, and, and this is where you start. You start here before you start with any, any other solutions. Um, and that is you make sure you've got a professional-looking website and that it's you've know, got good usability. Um, the, the more professional the site, the, the more of a signal of credibility that you're going to have. Um, it's important to look like a real business. So um, I'm, I'm amazed, you know, you, you go to a site and you find that there's you know, very little contact information about the, the company uh, or any information about the company itself. Um, those are important. People want to know that they're buying from a real business. And so having an about company page or an about us page um, and providing a real world address uh, is, is, is just another thing that will help provide added confidence. They want to know there's a business there um, behind this, this sometimes fairly impersonal feeling website. Um, be accessible. I think this was touched on a little bit in the last call. Uh, you know, having a phone number or live chat support, or ability to make it easy for them to reach out to you and touch you uh, in the event that they have a problem. Many times buyers will pick up the phone and call you in order to build more confidence before they build, make a purchase. And that's a signal or an example to you that uh, you know, if you're getting a lot of phone sales, um, you know, potentially one of the reasons is that they're not, they want to know for sure that there's a business there and get a, a better feel for the business before uh, making a purchase online. And then you know, having policies that help address the concerns around returns uh, and, and other things. So having very clear policies in terms of, of what you will and won't do um, so they, they fully understand that if they get the product and they decide they don't like it or they don't want it or there's an issue, um, how they can get it resolved quickly and easily. Second is you know, publishing customer customer testimonials, ratings, and comments. So, um, you know, the, the sort of the social media phenomenon is, 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 is obviously uh, a big topic of conversation. Um, things like merchant ratings and feedback scores have been around for a long time, and we do find that in the absence of, of in, any information, those, are, those can be very helpful and very effective at providing a, uh, additional information and contacts for buyers to your site. So uh, knowing that other people before you have had good experience uh, with the merchants, and even this extends to the products themselves, is obviously there's a lot of product rating uh, uh, services available now, are also very good at providing just more information that helps people uh, feel like they're making a, a full and, and good and complete decision. Um, and so those can be very helpful as well in, 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 in providing uh, a signal to shoppers. We do find that uh, you know, a merchant rating, you know, three smiley faces is good. Um, all of our data and our research shows that it's not as effective as if you can have a credible and trusted third party um, provide a real strong signal and then back that signal up with a guarantee so that they have something, they have skin in the game. So they have, you know, they're backing up their promise to the buyer with their own pocketbook. And obviously, uh, uh, I'm, I'm partial uh, to buy safe in terms of that approach, um, but what we've seen again and again and again it absolutely is effective in terms of uh, making a, a signal to a shopper more effective, uh, backing that up with a guarantee that if, if that signal is wrong, there's something at risk, uh, will make it much more believable um, to the shopper. Second is around reassuring and guaranteeing information security. So um, first, you've got to do, you know, demonstrate uh, use of good site security. So SSL certificates are, you know, a required part of, of, of having an e-commerce site. Uh, I'm sure everybody here has them. Uh, it will help ensure a secure transmission of data from your site to the user's browser and back again. Um, there's growing use of EVSSL, which is Extended Validation uh, SSL. Um, one of the key benefits of this is that uh, most of the main browsers today now will highlight, will essentially turn green in the, uh, in the top uh, uh, address bar 
uh, for sites that have EVSSL displayed. And so and there's a, a number of studies that sort of point to that being an added point of assurance for buyers uh, there at the point of purchase. So uh, it, they tend to be a bit more expensive, but depending on the size of your business, that may make sense in terms of uh, a good investment. Um, the website security validation um, solutions. We talked about McAfee Secure, which provides uh, PCI um, site scanning uh, that, that helps signal to shoppers that your site is secure from, from hackers and that it's uh, compliant with PCI standards and VeriSign that you're using the SSL. Um, our data shows that they do have an impact um, and, uh, and they are important and we find they're very complementary to the buy safe solution. So um, you know, I would not advocate you, you, you use you know, buy safe but not them. Um, for most merchants, we find that they are very much additive in terms of the, uh, of the benefits they provide. And that's actually, as I, I touched on very briefly at the start of the call, Verisign about a year and a half ago made a strategic investment in BuySafe, and they did that only after doing a lot of, of testing to see, you know, is BuySafe additive uh, to the equation for a merchant or, you know, essentially a substitute for Verisign. We, we found that it tends to be very additive. Privacy is also, you know, a key part of that question around the security and privacy of my information. And Trustee, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, provides a third-party certification of your privacy policy and, and ensures that you have sort of best practices around uh, privacy and the use of, of data. And so, again, that's another um, good option for you in terms of trying to provide uh, an effective signal um, uh, around information security and, and, and privacy. Other, other approaches, um, so in addition to sort of signaling good security, is giving people other options. Uh, we do find, uh, and I have seen in my experience with a lot of our customers, that uh, their use of alternative payment methods, you know, like a PayPal, uh, that gives options to their buyers to uh, pay in a way that, 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 that shares less of their personal information uh, is very important for some buyers. Um, some people just, you know, really like to remain private and anonymous on the web. And so giving them an option like that, you know, at least one of them uh, uh, tends to be better. Um, PayPal, obviously, much more well established at this point. So um, if you had to pick one, I'd, I'd probably suggest you go with that, unless you happen to be a really heavy advertiser on, on, with Google AdWords, in which case um, some of the incentives that Google provides might make sense then. But, um, but having that option that helps protect privacy, it can be helpful as well. And then lastly, you know, just looking at other ways that you address questions around information security and identity theft. Um, some of our customers publish uh, a security policy that, you know, really tries to summarize the things that they're doing. I think that's a good, good best practice as well. Um, you know, having that just on the site uh, and available link off your site that people can, can see that, uh, you know, is, is good too. And then lastly, on the best price piece, um, you know, there's, there's a couple ways to look at this. One is, you know, are you trying to claim you have the lowest price on the Internet so versus other stores? Some merchants do that. I think that's more of a business model question than necessarily a customer confidence question. Um, and, and obviously, that's a, you know, being that low-cost leader is, is sometimes it's a tough place to be. Um, the other is, is really providing that, that lowest price guarantee for your own store, much like BuySafe does. And if you have that today, then BuySafe is a good reinforcement to that, that existing policy. And if you don't, then BuySafe can help you do that uh, too. I, I'm not aware of, of really other services that provide that, that lowest price guarantee as an option, but, but perhaps somebody in the audience is aware of if there's others that, that might do that in addition to BuySafe. So I know we're, we've only got uh, you know, five minutes left or so before I think I'm, I'm out of time. So uh, I thought what I'd try to do is turn it over to questions. I know we covered a lot of different information today, but um, Shauna, if anybody's got any, any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Oh, we have tons of questions. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> tons of, but they're all really good questions. It's a lot of really great questions. So, um, you know, if, if you don't, uh, you know, we've only got a couple minutes for questions, so if you don't, um, if you don't get your questions answered today, you know, give them a call tomorrow. Put it on your Remember the Milk list to give them a call and, and talk to them tomorrow and ask these questions if we're not able to get to these questions tomorrow. So um, here's a question. If the customer queries buy safe for reimbursement of the event of a price drop within 30 days, again, they're asking, this has been asked several times, does the merchant have to recoup buy safe um, for the, this cost? No. Okay. No, that's come. We have uh, we've 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 been we've guaranteed over 21 million online purchases. So we've got a pretty good 
uh, sample of data that to actually project the, the kind of claims rates on, on each of our three guarantees. And so what we find is, is that that um, uh, you know, is, is fully covered by our pricing. Uh, in the event that yeah, we do have some caveats that if, if somebody has really unusual behavior versus a typical site, uh, we can we can you know have have a discussion, but uh, but uh, we've never actually invoked that clause. So um, the answer is no. The merchant does not cover that. It comes out of the cost of buy side. Okay. All right. So and and that's a big thing. It's like what percentage of customers actually take advantage of the thirty day price guarantee? Mm -hmm. um, so that that also varies by site. Um, and uh, what we find is is that uh, you know we have a flow of those getting paid every single day um, across our, our whole customer base. Um, some sites will, will tend to have more than others. Um, uh, uh, I don't know if I can give you a sort of a clear sense of, you know, of, of what the characteristics of those sites tend to be, um, but uh, we do see you know, some that, that tend to have sort of a higher rate of claim than others. Um, uh, the most importantly, though, is, is, is that signal on the front end that you know, the, the, having that, that policy and that option for buyers you know, is going to help them make that decision to purchase on the front end. So whether they end up taking the time to, to go back and, and, and try to file the claim is, is almost secondary to, the, to you know, if you can give them that confidence and that, that positive feeling up front and giving them that option, whether they exercise the option or not, uh, you know, will help drive higher conversion for you. Our wonderful, wonderful information. And somebody had mentioned that um, we talked about PayPal being hacked and being secure. Let me explain actually what happened. There was this group called Anonymous Operations, and what they were doing is in order to get um, some attention, they were basically like um, taking, what I mean by hack is they were like sending so much traffic to certain websites that would actually shut them down. Did they do it to Visa or MasterCard, one of those? I can't remember which one they did that to, but anyway, then a they denial of service attack, yeah, yeah, a denial attack, and then they tried to go after Amazon, and they could not take down the Amazon web servers um, and close down their website. So then they like went after PayPal and took down their website. It wasn't necessarily hacked into all these accounts, but basically they just sent basically. If you want to think of it in the most simplest terms, you send a whole bunch of traffic to, um, or a whole bunch of, in, you know, traffic going into a server hosting a website, and if you send too much, then that server can't handle it, and they go, you know what, I'm just going to take a break. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all do what you want to do, I'm just going to take a break. In that most simplest terms, that's what they did to PayPal, basically, and some of the other big sites, because they were trying to gain attention. So it wasn't like they were hacking in and getting that. So just to clarify so you all know, like, you can go research this on your, on your site. Okay, I have an eBay store and a website. Do I need plans for both of those stores, or... Um, how does that work when you have multiple websites or, or the same company on multiple platforms? So um, our pricing will typically apply to any and all, uh, for a given merchant, we'll set up one account and it applies across all of their stores. So we'll look at the sales volume of the merchant as opposed to the number of stores or number of accounts uh, in places that they sell. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's see if we can get to some more. Can you compare, this seems to be a very big question. We're getting quite a bit. Um, and then if you guys want to take a break at all while we're doing these questions, feel free, because um, I'll try to get in as many of these questions as I can before we bring up Stoney. Um, can you compare VeriSign to BuySafe and some of the others? Sure. So VeriSign is a uh, security solution that provides uh, a security seal that helps highlight good security at the site. Um, you know, what VeriSign does specifically is provide an SSL certificate that ensures the, the secure transmission of data to and from the site. And that's all it, all it does, is it, 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 it helps encrypt the data um, from the, the, the user's browser to the site. Um, BuySafe is, is really, our, our seal is signaling that it's a good merchant. So it's addressing questions around mer merchant reliability, where VeriSign is addressing questions around, you know, good site security and information security. Um, BuySafe also, as I mentioned, provides real tangible benefits in terms of the three-in-one guarantee that uh, not just provides a signal, but helps reinforce that with a broad guarantee over the three things people are most worried about. So we find they tend to be very complementary in, in nature. Um, we don't do what VeriSign does, and they don't do what we do. So they, they do kind of work nicely, you know, hand in hand. And and that's another question that we're getting quite a bit. It's like there's so many different trust sales. You know how how many should I have on my site? You know how many 
how many should I have or, you know, which one should I use? And, and I'll, I'll let you um, answer that. But just to give you my opinion, and, and I wish Kathy Simpson was here because um, we, she would have another nickel. It really depends, and I think that you have to test, 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 test on what's going to work with your customers. But what are your thoughts on this? So I, I totally agree with you in terms of, you know, you've got to test to, to, to make sure you, you know the right answer. But, uh, and, I, and I do think some merchants get a little overboard. You, you have sort of, you know, seals all over the place, and, and there's obviously <laughs> diminishing returns in terms of the seal. Um, it's like uh, you go on that date with that person that's like, I'm the bomb. I'm the bomb. I'm the bomb. I'm yeah. the bomb. I'm the bomb. And you start thinking, I don't think you're the bomb, or you wouldn't have to tell me you're the bomb. <laughs> right. <laughs> Women are all thinking he's compensating for something, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so don't go crazy with all these seals. What are you trying to overcompensate for? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, you know, I, hopefully the framework I gave out you know, earlier gives you a sense, which is you know, something that will address concerns around security, something that will address concerns around you know, the merchant, the business behind the website, um, it, you know, would be, you know, in, it's the minimum, I would say. Um, there, I don't think there's anything out there today that sort of does both um, and, and, and is really all-encompassing. Um, you know, many, many security seals, you know, I think there, you probably start to lose some, some, you know, some effectiveness pretty quickly as you add lots and lots of security seals. Um, but, uh, uh, but at the end of the day, like you said, you should test it. And uh, we do find that more than one typically is additive, um, especially if they are designed to address different issues. Uh, if you ever, uh, it, I don't know if you know this, but if you scroll down all the way on the bottom of the agenda page, um, you'll see links for uh, the different uh, the different new life series that we've done. And if you go to the speakers page, you'll be able to click on any speaker that you want and see all the different webinars that they've done with the new life event. So go to the um, uh, speakers page and check out. Trevor Claiborne from Google, he uh, talks about this uh, phrase that they use over at Google Website Optimizer, you should test that. And the, they, like, they want to have like t-shirts, you should test that, you should test that, you should test that. So if, you know, here's your walk away from that, you should test you should test everything. And especially that one month offer, you should test that and make sure if it, that's going to work for your business. So thank you so much for being here with us. I really appreciate it. Well, Shauna, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And uh, I included my information there. If anybody would like to reach out to me directly, I'd be happy to answer any questions they might have as well. That is awesome. That is awesome. And you might want to go check out the hashtag NLE. There's lots of comments over to you and, and uh, maybe some other questions and other stuff, but um, lots of really great comments you're going to want to check out. Perfect. I appreciate everybody's time today. Thank you.